Hi, I'm Pavel S and I have a very long history with the split-like cameras, especially run-cam split cameras. I have a split, original split, which I hated and I bricked it. I have Mini V2, which honestly I hated. And I have split Mini V3, which I only do not like. This is why. When um, I was looking for a new HD camera for my mini drag, uh, I was not. I I wanted to maybe put a full GoPro, but then the full GoPro is heavy, so maybe something else, something else. And then I saw in the internet that there is something called the Cadix Starshare, and that the Cadix Starshare actually has a good opinion on the good HD camera and the FPV camera. I do not really need an FPV part because I have a Runcam Eagle 2 which is the best FPV camera and the mini drag is big enough to carry two cameras. But yet, I, because of the video quality I saw in the internet, I decided to get me a Cadix Starshare and guess what? Two weeks later I ordered another Cadix Starshare. But this says something about what I think about the Starshare. But before we will go into the conclusions, let's take a look at the Tarshare on my workbench. The Cadex Tarshare quite obviously comes in the box, because come on, almost everything comes in the box. And inside of the box we have something like this. This is Let's say the same format that we are used to know from the split cameras that are on the market for like two years and uh, the whole format that RunCap started with the split. This one, however, um, like I mentioned in the opening of this video, this is probably the first split-like camera I really, really, really like because it's good. Really, I'm not sure if this is because of the 4K or, or something else. Definitely not because of the image stabilization or how they call it the anti-shake or something like that. And they call this anti-shake. So it's not really a stabilization. And to be honest, it's not really working. But this thing works well both as the HD camera and the recording from this small Tarsier as a HD camera should be right now somewhere there when this thing was on my mini drag. But also the FPV part is good because the camera there are really two lenses and two cameras that one is doing one job of being the HD camera and the second one is doing its job of being the regular FPV camera. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, it's not the same quality as for example the um, Runcam Eagle 2, which I really think it's the best FPV camera ever and there is nothing even close to the Eagle 2. But it's, it's fine, really, it's really fine. You do not suffer while using Tarsier as a FPV camera. And uh, don't even get me started of how crappy the whole Runcam split series and especially split split mini series is. I had uh, V2, I had V3 and both really really suck. This one also suck if you set the 4K mode but if you use it on the uh, regular HD it's really great. Nicely saturated colors, good quality, nice nice image. There are really no problems with both HD and FPV. And also something I, to be honest, I really like in this in this case is the integrated Wi-Fi app, which for example is missing in case of the Split Mini series. They gave up on it and okay, it's booting, it's booting. Let me enable the Wi-Fi so it starts. Oh, oh yeah, now the Wi-Fi is on and let's connect to the thing, Cadix FPV. It always takes some time, unfortunately. Like I said, it really works. There are, however, like always, oh, oh what, what the hell happened? Yeah, there are, 
How? Okay, okay, you cannot, of course, use the Wi-Fi for any kind of FPV because of delay. But this is not really the goal of this of this camera. And there are, of course, some settings. It comes with 4K by default. Change it immediately to 1080p 60, and also set the bitrate. Where's the bitrate? I never remember. Where, oh and set the bitrate to high and you will be very, very, very happy video. Unfortunately, there are always, there are always some problems and the problems are, in my opinion, the quality is, um, the build quality, not the image quality. The build quality is sometimes, I have two of those, by the way, I purchased two tar shares after Using one, I got me a second one because this is, I really like the first one. The, for example, this one, this radiator, this heatsink over here, in this one, the thread holes over there were not done. They were not complete. I had to really make the holes to be able to put screws uh, through them. Also, uh, you can feel on the edges of the PCB that maybe really the quality is not the best and maybe this is th this is the reason that this cost uh, how much it cost and not twice as much also i do not like the cable it's very let's say stiff and i have a feeling it will break easily there is a second one in the in the somewhere here so you can replace it if it breaks but i would prefer something softer like for example runcam does right now in their uh, split and hybrid series and also i got the nd filter by default so which is really 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 great what else i don't like i don't know why but they always put the buttons and the sd card slot on a different size i'm i will be mostly using this on an airplanes i would and i would really like to have both the sd card and the usb and the buttons on the same size so i do not have to like design a special mount for us oh by the way yeah they somehow managed really managed to fit both the sd card and usb port uh, Runcam learn something from Cadix because th they are really r doing this in the right way. So, bottom line, I love Cadix. A Tarsier. It's not pretending that it's something that it isn't. Delivers nice FPV footage, delivers nice HD quality. It's small, it's not maybe the lightest ever, but it really, really, really works and has features that other cameras hd hybrid cameras of this site really lacks so from my perspective it's a win-win situation i have over here ta -dam, ta -dam, the runcam hybrid so we will be able to you see what i'm saying about the um the cable this is much nicer we will be able to compare this one with this one this one while also is 4k and it's maybe slightly smaller but this for example why like, it has no usb why run cam please put the usb on your mini series and the wi-fi module yes it's possible even if you will have to make the board two layers it's really 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 worth it but it's not about the hybrid so far it's about the tarsier love tarsier great little camera if you do not use it in 4k and you are prepared to be sometimes slightly creative when mounting this somewhere and you are ready to accept that it will be getting very 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 hot besides that absolutely fantastic hybrid type split type hd and fpv camera love tar share honestly love the tar share that's all for today until the next one bye bye